What's going on everybody? It's me, Jason, with Buy, Build, Sell, your Los Angeles contractor and developer. And today we are going to talk about something very interesting. Remodel versus new construction. Now, this conversation is a decade old, probably centuries old. What is the best route to go in? Now, I'm going to take an examples from my personal life to kind of show you just the way my brain is thinking and give you another avenue to look at this with. Because from the perspective of a remodel, most people would think the remodel is the way to go. You have foundation that's already existing. You have framing that's existing, roofing that could be existing. You know, there's so many things that you can save money on in a remodel that it could actually make sense to do a remodel. For me though, I'm not looking at the spend. And that's the biggest difference between those two thoughts. When you look at a remodel, you're looking at how little money can I spend? For me, I'm looking at how much money can I make? And that's, that's not just business-wise, that's also personally. I'm thinking about it going, if I have a $1 million property, how can I make that valuable how can I make that worth three million, not two five? I'm only thinking about the value because for me at the end of the day, the more amount of value that I bring to that property, again, let's talk about this as if I am the client, not the contractor. So if I am the client and I have more equity, more value in my home, I can use that as a line of credit, I can refinance, I can pull cash out, I could just have more equity in the home. So if I go to sell it in two years to five years to 10 years, I have that value, I have that, that stamp that says new construction on it, and I, I just have a lot more value from that build, okay? As a client coming to a remodel, you know, I might be saying, hey, like I got a, you know, what would have been on the market, a one seven home, and I got it, and I bought it for a million, I put 500 in, you know, ha ha ha. You know, that's good if that's the goal, right? If you're just looking at saying, I need to spend the minimal amount of money to get in and build something, so that way I can put a roof over my family's head, so I can get a nice kitchen together, you know, livable bathrooms. Those are all goals that are totally fine. And obviously the differences always depend on capital ability, right? I mean, you only have, certain amount of money that can only sufficiently do a remodel, then of course you're just gonna do a remodel. If you have enough money to build a new construction and you're thinking about doing a remodel, this is really where it comes into play because are you really going to save in the long run doing a remodel? That's where I kind of think about it. And I go every time, time and again, what is the result that comes out of it? A remodel ends up being, now again, keep in mind, personally my opinion, and not every single house, not every single remodel is this. There are a lot of remodels that go way above, way beyond, and really just make the house look insane. So what I'm trying to talk on a broader scale and I'm not talking about any project individually at all. So make that clear, okay? But a lot of the times remodels are halfway where they could have been. I'll give you an example. You walk into a home that has an existing bathroom. Okay, and you want to make that bathroom a Jack and Jill bathroom. And that, that bathroom, you might be able to get a little bit of extra square footage because it's next to a closet or whatever, but all of a sudden you can't really create that space to make it really work appropriately without damaging piping and rewiring electrical. And what if there's stuff in the wall and you can't get out of it, you can't move it. So you do a really beautiful bathroom. It ends up being that instead of it being Jack and Jill, they both have to come out and into a hallway, a hallway bathroom, right? Now, I look at that and I go, well, that's a shame, right? Because you could, if you just went with a new construction or even spent more money on your remodel, per se, and went you know, heavy into a remodel process, that could be fine. But go ahead and invest in that property and make that what you want it to be because the remodel that you're doing is only halfway to where it could be. And going beyond that, you might have a room that's a five by five instead of a five by eight, which would be a great bathroom. So you end up being stuck, kind of confined into the space and the bathroom looks beautiful. So again, my opinion isn't final and, uh, and ever everlasting. I think that overall, you know, people who really 
care about their projects and care about what they're doing and have a vision for their final product usually go above and beyond and create great products. This is not a, a, a diss towards remodels, uh, but you have to remember me as a contractor, I'm doing new construction every single day. Very rarely do I do a remodel project. So when I do one, it's usually just you know, facelift material. So when I go into a remodel project, for me, I look at it and go, man, like I wish I could just rip all of this down, start fresh, I can have a great layout, I can create a great space. I, you know, there's so much room to work with if I just had the opportunity to do it. And that to me is frustrating, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the right move for everybody. But you have to understand that's my takeaway from it, is that I look at those moments and I really do say, man, if this wasn't in my way, and I didn't have to spend $15,000 to add this and move this and you know, create a roof that was gonna be beautiful to walk into. If I just ripped all this down, I can create something amazing. Not only that, I get more square footage. I get a better layout, better floor plan, more value. You know, For every dollar that I spend, I'd be doubling it as opposed to halving it, right? So an example would be a dollar become a dollar 25 or a new construction maybe it would become a dollar to a two dollars. That's not real in terms of math, but but just sort of conceptually valuing that dollar and going, man, if I if I spend thirty thousand dollars in a bathroom, that bathroom is now fifty thousand dollars as opposed to thirty five thousand dollars in terms of value. Whatever. You get the point. Going new construction, in my opinion, yes, it is more expensive because you're literally going from the start to the finish. So in a remodel, you have the foundation, you have the framing, you know, you have certain elements of the home that you can kind of save dollars on because it's already there, okay? On a new construction, you're starting fresh, right? But if we had to put two houses side by side, okay, that were building the exact same house, but one was a remodel, one was a new construction, nine out of 10 times, that new construction home is gonna be more valuable than the remodel. Josh, you wanna say hi? Hi everyone, I'm Josh. Nice to be here and bye. So in summary, I do believe that the value of a new construction is always going to be stronger than a remodel. It does always depend on your circumstance. So if you're ever curious or you have a question about something, go ahead, leave me a comment, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm always available and I'm always willing to answer as many questions as I possibly can. And of course, since I've got you here, don't be afraid to press that like button, press that subscribe button, and of course, press that bell button. It lets you know that more videos are coming your way. And while you're here, make sure to say hello in the comments and I'll see you there. Hey guys, how you doing? Jason here. I wanted to remind you to please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video, make sure some of your friends are watching it too, because that's all it does is it helps bring that algorithm to someone else's page so they know that this video is something worth watching and that you enjoyed it and that they might enjoy it as well. So uh, if you can, please go ahead, share the love, and uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.